there and welcome to Colchester International. This is the update for uh, Sunday the 24th of March 2019 and uh, <clears throat> what we've uh, been trying to do up here today is uh, basically add some more trees to the uh, background to the, all the um, foliage areas and that the embankment and um, We've got the uh, the pack through of, of the 70 or sorted trees that came through from eBay, which uh, has um, helped uh, boost up the um, the tree population on the layout. So hopefully you'll be seeing some of that as we go around. And uh, generally we've been doing a little bit of a, a tidy. I've had to do a little bit of track maintenance again today because uh, I found a, a fault with the track. Uh, that's been sorted out now, so that's all running nicely. And uh, basically we just um, tarted up a few areas in preparation for our future work. So um, there's been a lot going on in that sort of uh, respect as well. So um, let's move on very quickly to where we've got up to now and then uh, we can have a look and see what we've been doing. Okay, so the first thing uh, really to, to note on here um, is the overhead uh, sort of gantry mast that I had on here originally. Um, I had to do a little bit of repair work on there. That's had the wires fitted back on now for the slow lines. The uh, fast lines over where the next uh, network southeast coaches are um, still yet to have wires added. Um, that will be sorted out. Um, the main thing to note though is that we don't have just the one gantry mast anymore. We now have this mast which is now fixed and in place and awaiting its wires. Um, the spacing for uh, the register arms has been um, gauged above the tracks correctly so the wires should uh, run above the tracks nicely and uh, we've also added on this one, I don't know if you can see um, but we've also put on uh, a side mast as well, this one uh, runs over the line going down towards the depot because the depot is all electrified as well and um, this one basically takes the um, uh, electric traffic off the main line into the depot so we had to obviously have overhead masks going in there and we've already fitted some masks in the depot area anyway so You'll be seeing a bit more of that in just a moment. So this mast uh, was actually quite complicated to do, but we've done it. Um, and that's gone in now. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see if I go up and underneath the bridge at all. Um, there's also been some strengthening work put in under the bridge. There's two grey bars. I don't know if you can see them very well. Um, the bridge was sagging a little bit with the weight of the coaches on there. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to have all those coaches on there in the future anyway. They're just um, parked up. But... Um, because the bridge was sagging, it destroyed some of the work that I'd done earlier, so we've had to reinforce that and sort that bit out. Um, that took a little bit of time to do because obviously I had to wait for the glue to set and then that all had to be put in place. But I also have to remember that the um, the bridge section itself needs to be able to lift up, so I couldn't fix it permanently in place. So it's two um, plastic rods that run across the length of the, uh, the tracks from one retaining wall to the other and they support the bridge section in its entire weight. Um, that basically stops the sagging, um, so hopefully that should uh, um, not be a problem in future now. So um, we had to do a lot of work on that one, that took a fair while to sort out. Now, um, the other areas that we've done, um, I'll just come along here and I shall show you what's been happening up this end. Now as you can see, if I come in here, we have uh, an extra mast which has appeared uh, coming up from the power feed station. Now this is by no means finished at the moment. Um, what this has on here is basically um, where the two um, power feeds are there with their sort of big red capacitors on top, um, insulators I should say. Uh, th those are going to have like a, a lattice gantry thing in front of them and that's in turn will feed onto this mast which has been put in in preparation and I don't know if you can see but we have got the wires now attached to the overhead um, basically to give it the illusion that this actually does feed the overhead with uh, electricity so um, it's not going to be like a, a massive structure I'm, I'm not modeling skills wise going to be able to do a great big complicated structure like that and besides the um, power feed station here is quite small so I'm, I'm basically looking at this as being like a booster station because I think it fits in a bit better so um, that's uh, the idea for this one um, so we've got that in place um, the other thing you'll notice as well if I just look over this way a little bit um, because it doesn't interfere with any of the points or anything 
the little triangle of land that was left at the end of the works compound, um, I've put uh, ballast in around the um, the two junction boxes that was on there in the trunking. So um, that ballast is going to have to be obviously glued into place and everything. But uh, that's now been put down there just loosely because it doesn't interfere with the operation of the tracks or anything. And um, I think that sets off that area quite nicely. And I'll probably, uh, once the ballast has been glued in place and it's dried, I'll go along there and I'll put a little bit more like um, scrub and bushes and that probably around the base of the junction boxes and that and some of the, um, the scattered grass that I've got as well. So um, we'll make that look a little bit better as well. Okay, so that's that bit up this end. So um, let's go on to another section and we'll show you that bit and you can have a look and see what we've been doing there. Okay, now moving on to the depot area. And I'll very carefully lean across here because uh, obviously I don't want to fall on top of it. Um, as you can see on the embankment at the back here, we have been very, very busy, um, obviously, building trees. That was me nearly slipping then. <laughs> um, yeah, putting trees in, planting trees. Um, they've gone in basically all different colour shades and that. Looks a, a hell of a lot better now that we've got those one in. And um, I think, uh, yes, I'm, I'm quite pleased to how that's all gone. Quite a large, dense, wooded area over in the back there as, as best as I could do it. Um, so I'm actually, you know, I'm quite pleased with all that. That seems to be going really well. Um, the other thing that I've put in down here as well, um, we've got, I uh, made use of two of the Hornby um, overhead masts, because what I wanted to do was I wanted to have some form of taking the overhead wires um, that are in the depot, because as I said, the, the masts we've fitted in already, um, take the wires in and then split them up around the, the various tracks here. But I obviously can't have the wires running into the um, the sheds. Um, so what we want is like a, a terminus point for the wires to finish at. So what we've done is we've got these two Hornby ones in here. There's one fitted here and there's one fitted over here as well. And they will basically um, be the end point for the electrification. So that should then um, have obviously wires attached to it. And they've already got the little insulators on top of them. So um, that should work all right. And uh, Basically, the um, the depot area is nearing completion now. It's just really um, the ballast to glue down properly, and uh, hopefully that should um, sort this area out. The other thing, obviously, is a little bit of consternation here, is getting this road bridge finished. I've still got the retaining walls to fit in for the actual ramp. Um, there's a few gaps and stuff on here which I'm not happy about. I will obviously at some point get around to blocking those off. Um, what I'll most likely do is get some grey card and uh, run it along the uh, the base of the wall and cover up the seam where, you know, where you can see the balsa wood and stuff and that's showing so that it's um, more of a, a finished unit so you shouldn't actually be able to see it from eye level um, and that hopefully will uh, sort out the bridge area um, it's been a difficult project to do this this ramp because um, the ramp is, very, uh, is actually very steep really to, for what it is uh, but at the same time where the bridge was placed i was limited to the options that i could do in terms of the gradient so um i hope you understand that that's about the best you're going to get for ramp wise so it just needs really finishing off we're going to stick some walls either side of that and um that will be done uh, there'll probably be a lamp post stuck on there as well just for um like one of these ones here and uh, we'll stick that on the ramp so at least the ramp will be lit and that'll take them up to road level um there's a little bit of an unsightly join just there with the road deck uh, of the bridge meets the ramp. Um, I can't really do much about that because like I said the bridge needs to be able to lift up and be removed. So uh, we could, we'll try and cover that the best we can but um, to be honest it's going to be a bit of a, a gap there anyway. Um, what else have we done? Okay well the next thing really to show you um, is going to be um, over at Furman Smithy Station where there's been a few developments. So let's pop over there and we'll show you that. Okay, so this is Furman Smithy Station, and uh, obviously it branches off from the main lines on that. It takes the uh, upper loop line over towards where the viaduct will be. And uh, this station uh, basically is in place here for local commuter traffic. It's going to be served by the four car electric units, and uh, obviously the line will be electrified as well. So um, we'll be um, sorting that one out as well. and. Uh, the whole um, station itself is going to be a mix of Victorian buildings and modern buildings because I think it basically reflects a lot of the stations that you see on uh, the main lines now, uh, so 
nowadays where um, we still have this hangover of our Victorian railway heritage but at the same time we were doing our best to sort of modernize our railway network and uh, new features are obviously creeping in all the time so um, that's how it's going to be then so you will see um, ho hopefully quite a mix of um, items on this uh, little station um, there will be a road bridge running over the top of it uh, that will basically take the road that you see where the depot bridge is um, continuing through Firm and Smithy village and then obviously running out the other side and uh, disappearing somewhere over the other side there towards that window now um, that will comprise of a, a road bridge with obviously uh, pedestrian access down onto the platforms and on the opposite side it will need to go over the top of the other tracks that you see there um, those will be covered in you won't see those because they're going to disappear into a tunnel anyway and uh, there'll be a little bit more of Firm and Smithy Village the other side of the station on this hill um, namely a provision for a pub which has already been bought <laughs> so that will go on there and um, probably a car parking area as well for the pub slash uh, station and uh, that will be uh, obviously a nice little focal point as it runs up the, the into the corner here to cover the tracks and stuff especially these ones which will run out into the garden as well um, and there'll be like uh, fields and stuff towards the back end into the corner as well so um, that should look fairly good once that little corner is sorted out that'll look fairly good I think um, so uh, obviously in preparation for the station itself the one thing that had to be done was we needed to put in the side walls for the platform so these are the um, Pico ones so these are the uh, brick paper Pico ones because they look more contemporary along with the other Victorian buildings that I had so I didn't want to go along with the, um, the concrete edged ones um, so these ones uh, basically blend in with the rest of the buildings that I've got which is a little Hornby building which will be uh, the main ticket hall and another Hornby building which will be the waiting room and uh, then we've got some rather uh, modern structures uh, like the um, scene craft uh, waiting shelters uh, with the curved blue uh, frame and uh, glass infill so those uh, will appear on the platforms as well now the other thing you'll notice as well with the tracks we have put down the ballast on them it's been very neatly done the ballast as you can see I've taken a lot of time to try and get this bit right and uh, all this requires now is glue and setting so um, that's been done right the way along this bit so um, we've had the trains running over it uh, loosely sort of thing you know with just the carriages I haven't run the actual engines over this bit but once it's dried off you will see them running over it so you'll uh, see that in the film clip which will come after this uh, bit and uh, hopefully then you'll look the business Okay, so that's Furman Smithy Station done. Okay, well at least all that we can do today at the moment. And um, that's really all that I, I've had time to do up here today. So um, it's been a glorious day up here. It's been lovely and warm, as you can see outside. Still got plans for that shed there. Might use it as a storage yard at some point. Don't tell the wife. Um, yeah, basically that's all we've done. Um, oh, and just one other thing. Um, to go along with the rest of our masts and uh, that that we've been doing today we've got another uh, lattice gantry mast here with the register arms fixed into place and uh, that one is now uh, obviously fixed as well into and glued down so that's ready to take wires um, I'm most likely going to have to put a couple of more extra masts underneath the bridge section just to um, take the wires around um, so obviously because the two inner curves here are a little bit sharper than the outer ones so um, we might have to do that uh, just to make um, it look believable that the wires are sort of going around staggered around the bend. But um, overall that uh, mast went in fairly well, I'm quite pleased with that one. So um, that's uh, two extra masts done on the layout today and uh, obviously a lot of other work which we had to do preparation wise which slowed us down a little bit. 
But um, other than that, um, it's been a productive day. So um, I'll be quite pleased actually now just to call it a day for now. So as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate everybody that watches my films. And uh, any comments and suggestions you want to put forward on there, please do. Um, quite open to anything that anyone sort of uh, wants to say about the layout, good or bad, um, and anything negative at all, um, is actually really quite helpful because it could be that I'll carry on doing something blindly and not realising that I'm, I'm doing something wrong, which someone will have noticed on the film. And unless you actually comment or you, you say something to me, otherwise, you know, like on Messenger or something, um, I'm going to continue on doing it. You know, it's, it's going to be something I won't notice. So please, please, please do make a comment either on the Facebook page. Um, you can do it on the YouTube channel as well. And also there is a comments page on the website. Um, I do really, really want people to try and use that website comment page if possible. Um, it would be really nice if you could actually drop a comment on there. Um, it actually shows them people are watching the, uh, or at least you know, going onto the website and using it. And um, I would be more than happy to reply back to any comments at all that people do post on any of those three outlets. Okay then. So um, that's Colchester uh, wrapped up for another day, another sort of a busy session. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, please, please, please do keep an eye out for updates. Uh, as the weather gets a bit better now and the days get a bit longer, I will be trying to get up here as often as I can and add in some more things in. Okay, so um, even if it's little things at a time, um, they will be done. Like, for example, filling that hole there and getting that done. Yeah? yeah I know people have been sort of probably saying about this and noticing that for ages. And when are you going to get that done? Well, I will do it. Um, I will get that sorted out. And uh, yes, there will be... Uh, news on that in the future okay right so that's me signing off for today so thank you very much again like i said for watching and uh goodbye from the little world of colchester bye <laughs>